Hi there. How to make your long exposure solar glass camera? Right, you'll need a few simple things. Aluminium can. Uh, you need actually a tall one, sort of beerish size, 440, 500mm. Five taller ones are fine. And a smaller can, can be Coke or something like that. Aluminium, but make sure they're sort of wide-ish like that. And you need to take the tops off, and there's a bit of a knack for this. Uh, let's see if this works. Sometimes it does. You have to use a flat... There we go. You have to use a flat can opener like that and hold it sort of sideways. There needs to be some downward pressure. Sometimes it works. Here we go. And if you're lucky, you can cut it off with a completely clean edge. Like that. Yep. Absolutely fantastic. And there's no sharpness at all. <gasps> Just kidding. There's no sharpness. So that's really cool. Um, you've got your empty light tight container. Next thing you need to do is to make a lid for it, a light tight lid, and that's really why I'm doing this video, is because of just chopping another can, like, oops, cut it at the bottom, you can actually cut them, so it's a fairly clean edge, throw this away, especially for those kids around and stuff, throw that bit away, and there you've got a lid, and that can go on top like that to make it night time which is really cool it just fits on it's waterproof as well so you've got your aluminium can next thing you need to do is find your pin there we go one of those sort of pins can you see that i don't know where it's got a sort of bobble on the end sort of dressmaking pin find a place on the can a bit higher than halfway up so there's an f there don't know why here's a can i made earlier and you put it about ooh, three fifths up a bit higher push the pin in like that it's exciting yeah take the pin out there's a hole get a bit of insulation tape put the insulation tape shutter over the hole like that and you've got the shutter then a piece of light, your light sensitive paper it should come in your pack if you've registered for it now it won't fog that quickly so here it is in daylight but don't worry about it panicking about it fogging push it in so there's actually a gap and that gap is where the pinhole is you've got even in this light which is fairly daylight you've got a good ooh, 20 or 30 seconds before it starts going dark and then put the lid on like that and then gaffer tape the lid on top of the actual can like this there you go and that faces your camera. Dead easy. Now, I'm going to show you how to make a different one as well at the same time because we're going to be doing not just six months or three months, but if you want to do a day exposure, you want to make yourself an aluminium pinhole out of a, another piece of can. There we go. What I've done here is I've got that's just a piece of aluminium. Make it a bit flatter on the edge of a table. Aluminium. And I'm going to use a box, and this is the box, it's a photographic paper box, really. And I'm going to be doing a day exposure with this, just to see how it comes out. It's a light type box like that, but you don't want to make a hole in thick cardboard. You want to make a hole, same way as before, in the aluminium. So you find your pin, like that. Make your pin into the middle of the aluminium. Make a little hole. You can wiggle it about if you want. Don't worry too much about the maths. And then this, tape it on the outside with a bit of gaffer tape. Boot of your box. And that's going to be the pinhole. Don't put the pinhole into the card because the card is going to be too thick and you want to have a thin point where the hole goes through. So, boom. On there, you use this spare bit of tape just to hold it down, and a couple more bits. One there, and one there. And what you have is a aluminium pinhole in your box, and that's what your photographic paper goes in. Put the shutter on first because if the sun goes through it will have an effect so just stick a piece of tape over the hole and then we'll put a piece of photographic paper in this one as well it's just going to be for a day there's a the photo paper it's getting quite bright outside i'm going to stick it down on the inside i forgot to do that 
So just a couple of bits of gaffer in the corners, just to make sure it doesn't flap to one side. And we'll see how that works. So piece of tape there, piece of tape there. There you go. Lid on, and then gaffer tape it closed. Okay. So here's the one day exposure. Let's go take the shutter off like that. It's fairly well gaffer taped on. And we'll see, that's the sort of view. Don't worry about views really, but at least it should get something. Oh, nice, isn't it? And here's the six month exposure camera, gaffer taped to the, the cows come home. And here the cable tie is actually round. The top end, there's two bits of circles of metal here that mean that like, it's not going to crush. Because if you did it there, it'd probably crush. Make sure you do it quite tight here and you're fine. Pull the shutter off to start the exposure. I'll just stick it there, there's the hole. And uh, there's a bird. And here's the view. So we'll see how that works, if at all. An old camera fun, go for it. Hi there, so you've got your six month or one day exposure camera, uh, whatever amount of time it's been up for, uh, and you want to capture the image. Now, don't be worried about the photographic paper instantly going black, it's not going to. There's no developer used, no chemistry. You just need to scan the picture, or you can use a camera or a mobile phone to photograph the picture, the negative that comes out. Do it under artificial light, uh, light bulb stuff. You've got several minutes until things will start going dark. Um, and don't don't worry too much about it going too dark, just, but no light, no daylight, no sunlight, okay? Um, if it's a bit damp, and it may well be because of condensation, what I do is I take the lid off, if I can find the gaffer tape, there you go. <clears throat> oh, what a noise. And I would actually take the lid off, have a little peek. Ooh. See if there's any nests of wrens or anything. And if it's damp, and it sometimes is, I would use a, a wife's hair dryer to sort of dry it out just to make sure it's not damp before you scan it. Uh, it curls up a bit, but if you keep it held down and things and just blow it a sort of like, like that, it'll dry fairly quickly. So then what you do is, and I'm using a flatbed scanner here, I love flatbed scanners, especially ones that operate with a USB, so there's no extra plugs and sockets and stuff. So I'm using one of these, which is really handy. If you are photographing it with a camera or a phone, don't use a flash, because that will cut peer on the reflection. And also try and avoid reflections. Um, and it's quite difficult to see it sometimes with a viewfinder. So, you've got your camera opened. Take the paper out, twirl it out, don't wave it around in daylight too much, put it on your scanner, watch the camera hit the floor, and then Photoshop whatever your image software is. I do it 300 dpi and colour. Capture the image, save as, and then after you've got that, I get the paper negative, and I put it into, you can put it into a book, so that'll keep it light tight, but I just put it into a little black envelope, saying exposed negs, and that will just sit there, and you can scan them again if you want. Uh, what I've got here is my day exposure, which I did, uh, it wasn't very sunny, so we'll see how it works, and uh, this is the camera I was using, it's just an old box, it's a photographic box, uh, there we go, I'm going to take, the, take it apart if I can. Oh, things you should have done before you started videoing, ah here we go. Yeah, and I'm going to take this apart. And that's only been for a day, but I'm interested to see what the exposure is like. It wasn't the sunniest of days. Uh, the next one I'm going to do is probably going to be in my wife's greenhouse, just putting it on its back for a day or so. Day exposures are great fun because you know you haven't got to wait six months. Pretty obviously. Okay, is there anything on here at all? Yes, there is. Fantastic. Yeah. So I'm going to scan that in. That gets used. In a few days' time, oh, there's 
lovely. This is from Louis Balcony. And we're going to scan this in and see what picture we get. Okay. <laughs> 